Hello, my name is Jimmy Bonero, and in this video, we're going to look at how to set up one of the most common auto store workflows that's in use today, which is transforming images scanned from a multifunction device into some type of text based output. And in this video, what we're going to focus on are the three most common ones text searchable PDF, Microsoft Word, and Microsoft Excel. We're going to set up two send to folder scenarios as an example to provide users their choice of output. I've already created a project folder ahead of time to hold my configuration file. Uh, I've got some sample files that we'll be using and I've got an output folder. So let's get started with the auto store process designer and we'll begin by creating a new configuration file. And in this example, we're going to use auto capture. Now optionally what I'm going to do is come into my home directory for the task and we're going to come to our task home directory that I've created here and use this. Again, this is optional. Now I'm going to add my capture component. We'll add the Abbey Fine Reader. And for our route component, we're going to add the multi router. The multi-router gives us the flexibility to create additional workflows to additional destinations beyond folder, such as email or SharePoint. I'm going to open up my capture component, come to my preferences, and I'm going to redefine my home directory and reject files to my working folder. Again, this is optional. And now I'm going to save my configuration file. And we'll call this convert image to OCR. Now as I open my capture component, we're going to create two different scenarios for our users to be able to select their file type. For the first scenario, what the user will do is they're going to choose the output by selecting a form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a menu and we're going to call this send to folder form. Within this menu, I'm going to add a form. For the form, we're basically going to give it a name that is going to be the file type that the user will see to select from. All right, and I'll give it a button name, and we're going to give the user the ability to name their file by adding a text field called file name. If they're going to name the file based on whatever they enter into that field, I want that field to be required. And for this video, I'm just going to pre-populate the default value for that as example. Now, moving on to our Abbey component. The first thing we want to do is activate the component. For passing through the original scanned image that comes uh, from the capture component, we don't want to pass that through. So we're going to change pass through to no. And then for output OCR text as, here we'll go ahead and select what that file type is going to be. So I named the file uh, for Microsoft Word, we're going to choose the Word option. Now I'm going to come to the Advanced tab and to start off with for the page analysis I'm going to remove detect barcodes and all the other options. For image preprocessing prior to doing the actual recognition of the text I'm going to despeckle and deskew the document. For more information on all of these different options check out the help file uh, to get some more details. I'm going to go ahead and apply this and click OK. Now the next thing I'll do is I'll define my send to folder and we're going to direct the files into our output folder and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to define the rename file to what the user entered in at the capture component so I'm going to take our file name add that and then to prevent duplicate errors, I'm going to take the file counter from the send to folder component. As 
well as the file extension. And we're going to add both of those in there, and that completes the rename file. So we click OK. And we have our first form created for the Microsoft Word file. Now I'm going to take this form, and I'm going to copy it, come back into the menu, and paste it. Now, all I need to do once I've pasted this in is change two things. The first one is the form name. So this one we're going to call PDF Text Searchable. Everything else remains the same. The only thing that's going to be different is uh, for the second thing, the AVI component, we would just change the output text file type to PDF. We'll apply that. We'll click OK. It's going to go to the same output folder, so we don't need to make any changes there. And we're done with our second option. Now, we'll add one more option for Microsoft Excel. Again, everything stays the same. I come to Components, go to my AVI component, and we'll change the file type to Excel. My output folder stays the same, so I'll leave that alone. And we're finished with the first scenario. So I'm going to click OK. We'll save. And we're going to start our service. And let's go ahead and test this out. So I'll come to my sample files. I'm going to grab a sample document. And with Auto Capture, I'm going to right click, send to, send a folder form. And I'm going to go ahead and choose PDF Text Searchable first. I've got my file name pre populated with example, and I'll press start. Now I'm going to come into my output folder. and we'll wait for each of those pages to process. All right, so there's my first one. I'll go ahead and open this file. And here it is. So now I'll search for the word document, press enter, and there's my first hit. And when I go to the next, there, there it is again. All right, so we went from, close this out, we went from a TIFF file, which is an image, and converted it to text searchable PDF. Now, I'll take the same one, and we're going to send this over to Microsoft Word. I'll press Start, go to my Output folder. And here is our Word file. Okay, so that opened up in Microsoft Word. Now let's go to our sample contacts, which is a simple contact list. Something like this would be better appropriate for Microsoft Excel. So I'm going to send this over using the Excel option. We'll press Start. And I come to my output and we'll open that up. And there we are. So that's the first example, first scenario. Go ahead and close that. Now let's create our second scenario. For the second scenario, the user is going to select their output by selecting an item from a list. So within this common group, I'm going to go ahead and create a new menu. And we'll call this send to folder list. Within this menu, I will add a form. And we'll just call this send to OCR. 
give it a button name, and I'm going to add two fields. The first field is going to be for the file name, just like we did with the first scenario. We want that to be required, and I'll pre-populate this with a default value of example. And the next field is going to be the file type. Now we're going to provide the user with a list, so let's change the, the type of field this is to a string list, and we want that to be required as well. Now what I'm going to do is come to the properties for this file type list, and we're creating a list for the user to select the type of output that they want. For the label, we're going to enter in a description to help the user make their selection. For the value, this is what's going to get passed into the Abbey engine later on in the process. We're going to use the RRT for this list field to define that. So let's add our first option. And for the value, what we're going to give Abby is simply the value DOCX for docx to signify that we want the Microsoft Word 2007 option. The second one that we'll give the user is PDF. PDF text searchable and the value that we're going to give Abby is simply PDF. We'll add one more. And this will be for Microsoft Excel 2007. And the value that we're going to give Abby there is XLSX. When we pass these values on in an RRT, we'll be able to dynamically instruct Abby to output that particular file in that particular output. Of course, we, we can certainly pass additional values on if we wanted more different file types uh, to pass on to Abby. Um, here's an example of some of the other file types that, uh, that we could have passed in. So if we were to put in a description, if we wanted to produce a CSV file, we could maybe enter in a description for uh, the user to select that, and then we would pass CSV as the uh, as the value that we would that we would give Abby. So for this video, we're just going to keep these three options. And the other thing that I can do for future purposes is I could take this list and I could export it as a CSV file, which I've already done here. But we'll go ahead and save it again. Now, what I want to do before I leave here is decide which of these three would I like to be the default value for the end user that will be pre-selected for them. And most common is PDF text searchable. So we'll make that our default. I'll click OK. Now, let's come to our Abbey component. And let's set this up. First thing we do is we activate it, passing through the original image that comes to the capture component or from the capture component, we're going to say no. Now, for the OCR text as, the value that's in here, the way we replace that is two parts. First is we select the value and delete using the delete key. Then we can come into our auto capture or our capture component. And then we can take the file type, add that into the field, and this is how we dynamically switch that. Let's go to our Advanced tab, and we're going to do the same thing we did in the first two examples uh, for the page analysis and the image pre-processing. And we're completed. So I'll click OK, and we'll come to our Send to Folder. And we will define the output just like we did with the first scenarios. For the rename file, I want to use the file name to name the file. Now, you'll notice I've got my file type here. We don't want to use this. What we want to do is use the file extension within the send a folder component. So to prevent the duplicate errors, I'm going to also use the file counter, and I'm going to grab the file extension. We're going to add those items in here.
and we're done. Click OK. We'll save and we'll restart our service and let's test this out. So the first one that we'll choose from our send to folder list will be the send to OCR. I've got my file name pre-populated with the file type pre-selected as PDF. And then that drop down I have my different choices. So we'll leave it in there. We'll start with PDF first. I'll click start to process that document. We'll come into our output. All right, and here's my second example. It came as a PDF file. We'll open that up. And we'll make sure that we can find we found our first hit. So we have a text searchable PDF. So we're good there. All right, and let's send this over to send OCR, and this time we'll choose our Microsoft Word option. And there's our second example. It came as a Word file, so we're definitely good there. And let's choose our last option, which is Excel. And we'll use our contacts list. All right. And we'll come to our output. And there's our next example. It came as an Excel file. So we're good there. And that completes the second scenario. So this was a very basic setup for two different but very common setup scenarios and the reasons why one of these might be more preferable to another the, the reasons can vary it, it can come down to user preference um, if we need to get very granular with Abbey settings that might be a consideration on um, on which option we choose it may be some of that image pre-processing or some of the page analysis stuff that we're uh, doing in in Abbey so uh, that could be another factor the scalability of our configuration and our overall workflows can also be another consideration so there's there's not necessarily say this is the best way or this is the best way it, it really comes down to the environment and the situation um, that you're in so and and then how how easy or how simple do we want to keep the configuration is probably gonna be another consideration I'm sure you could probably think of a couple of more um, in in any case Either, either of these two scenarios would provide a really good starting point to building your auto store configuration for your users to be able to select their text based output. I hope this video has been informative and until next time, thanks for watching.